Want to host a webinar or present a keynote on Facebook Live? Stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to share your desktop screen and use your webcam to go live on Facebook from your desktop computer. It's going to be rad. I'm Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey, what's Shake and Bacon? Welcome back to the videospot.net where you'll learn how to use video marketing to grow your business. I'm Owen Video and today we're talking about how to broadcast live on Facebook from your desktop computer. You'll also discover how to broadcast your screen for a webinar or presentation or whatever else you wanna do. Just as long as you keep your shirt on cause ain't nobody trying to see that. It's just skin, Steven. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking this adorable little button here. It's so cute. Going live from your desktop is available from your business page. While there are ways to stream your desktop from your personal profile, it requires a little bit of a hack. So we'll cover that in a future video. The primary benefit of streaming live on your desktop is that you can plug in a variety of high powered webcams and you can even use video capture cards to stream HD video from any HDMI enabled camcorder like the one I'm using. Live desktop video means you can also share your screen and present a webinar or a PowerPoint right onto Facebook where your audience already lives. This is a two-step process where first you'll get an encoding software program called OBS and then we're going to connect it to your Facebook page. So first you'll need to download OBS and install it on your Mac. To do that, click in the link below or simply visit obsproject.com. Once you've downloaded OBS, you open it up and set up your cameras. It's a quick process, but might be a little confusing if this is your first time. So be sure to save this video for later if you need to come back to it. Open OBS and you'll see two main windows in studio mode. First, we'll set up your camera so everyone can see your pretty face. To do that, go to the left side box that says scenes and click plus. Then go to the next box to select which device. In this case, we're gonna use the webcam. Now you can see me, there I am. You can pull out the corners to adjust the image to your liking. This is our first scene. Now let's create our screen share screen. Click on new scene. Add a window display and add your PowerPoint keynote or Prezi window. It's important to note that if you only have one screen that you wanna use a window display. But if you're working on two or three screens, you can share the entire monitor. Both are equally effective and some have different advantages for different situations. Now that both screens are loaded, let's prepare the live video stream. Everything in the left window here is on standby. Whatever is in the right video here is broadcast live. Click the scene you want to start on, probably your camera, and click the transition button. You can click it again to toggle back and forth between your camera and the screen share. Now you're ready to go live, so let's jump onto Facebook and set up the live stream. Start by logging into your Facebook business page and click on publishing tools. From here, you're going to click on video library and you'll be in your video management area. This is similar to Creator Studio on YouTube. This is where you manage your video's metadata, optimization, and privacy settings. Here you can see all my past videos live or uploaded. When I hover over the title, you can see where I can edit the video. The icon here shows that it's a live broadcast and then over here is my view count and my publish date. To create a new live video, we're going to look up and click on live. That brings this pop-up with all the information you're going to need, so let's take a moment to explain what we're looking at. Here at the top, you'll see a warning that Facebook Live requires encoding software, which you already have. Down here, you have single and separate fields for your stream key and your stream URL. You'll need this info to go live no matter what encoding software you use, but for OBS, we only need the stream key, so copy the stream key. Go back into OBS and click on settings. Click on stream and then paste the stream key into the box. Now click start streaming to send the signal back to Facebook. Click the preview button and now the stream will connect. Use this time to add your posting copy here, a video title and your tags. You can also embed the live videos into a website using this button here. 
Once you see your image appear in the preview box, you're ready to go live. Simply click the button and go back to OBS to run the show. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial brought to you by the Video Marketing Toolkit. Get it free using the link below. Now there's lots of cool things you can do in OBS like pick and pick streaming and adding cool images and video, but we'll get to that in a future video, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We drop a new video every week on video marketing for businesses, so be sure to join us again. I'm Owen Video, thanks for watching.